This 55 seconds of Skate the Infinity starts with Lunga about to drop into a halfpipe. And ends with a shot of Mia's face while he's skateboarding in the promo. This is the last 55 seconds of episode two, Awesome for the First Time. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Infinite 55 Seconds. <laughs> It was 55 seconds in the last episode as well. I think it's they're very consistent with that. Very consistent. Um, this what is an anime by 55 second <laughs> podcast where we talk about Skate the Infinity Minute by 55 seconds. <laughs> I'm Jonathan. I'm Caitlin. And we have a promo I'm, to talk about. We do have a promo to talk about. Um, again, these things are so quick and like... Just fly at you. Yes. We try not yeah. to talk too much about the animation and like what's actually going on in the yeah. in the next episode because obviously we're going to talk about it then. Yeah. But um, there are a few little things that it w- would be interesting to touch on. Um, we do t- catch the end of the ED as well. We do catch the end of the ED, which once again we think is adorable. The bit where they're, as you said, when they're looking at each other completely wrecked. It's so funny to me. Like yeah. they look awful they but i dead. still <laughs> love them like they yeah. look so funny <laughs> yeah absolutely dead and again the lyrics of like this um we were talking about it like you're you're my friend or like i've become what you rely on we'll talk more about the lyrics oh, in episode four but like they, these boys love each other they seriously Keep the feeling in your heart. I've found happiness with you. I've found happiness with you? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Get those get those marriage I mean, <laughs> engagement rings out, boys, that were merch. I'd highly doubt we have people that listen that do not ship the boys because they would uh, be so sick of us talking about they it. Would they would be – imagine if you were anti-Renga and you listened to a show. <laughs> And you're just sitting there fuming. <laughs> yes, or anti. I mean, anti Matcha Blossom. Imagine if you were anti Matcha Blossom Whoa. and you listened to us. You would get out. Get out. No, <laughs> no we need all the listeners we can so get. Unhappy. Stay, please. Yeah, no, please stay. <laughs> please stay. <laughs> please stay. We want that ad money. <laughs> yeah, we don't have that. <laughs> um, but yes, no. We'll talk more about the content. Um. And yeah, we, we'll come back to the ED. We've got plenty of opportunities to talk we about do, it. We do, we do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're straight into the preview promo pro- with uh, Mia skating with his little mullet and his idiot hair. His idiot hair. <laughs> um, I love that. Yeah. I wasn't sure in the sub. I watched the sub first and I wasn't sure if it was Recky talking to him or not. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's pretty obvious in the dub that the it dub is Ricky. The dub confirms it, yeah. Yeah. Um, because he says, keep the interview short. So I was like, oh, is it just like one is of these reporters? Like, a, is it a journalist? And then I realized yeah. it was Ricky. <laughs> yeah. Um, this security guard running up. What's the deal here? I can't remember this. I oh, we weren't going to talk about either. the visuals. No. No, but I didn't. I, that was another moment that I was like, hey, I don't remember this. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. And they're in like some sort of like car park or yeah. complex or something like that. Yeah. What's, what's the security guard going to say to them? And know. why show that in the promo? <laughs> I know. Like, it's such a, a, an odd moment to choose. It's a cute, like, um, I do like that there are cute parallels between these two and, like, um, Match Blossom, though, because, like, they have mm. similar thing where they, they run away from, like, the security guard as well in their flashback. And it's yeah. just, oh, it's just cute Young little parallels. Yeah. yeah. These skateboarding boys are always in trouble. Always. Mm. Um, yeah, so it's basically Recky interviewing Mia. Yes. And we um, find out a ton about him. I don't know why. Like, he's like, yeah. I've got some things to ask you. And then he's like, what's your favorite food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it starts very out weird. very, like, confrontational. <laughs> yeah. But immediately turns into, like, a magazine yeah. <laughs> interview. Which is actually funny because the promo for episode two also had Recky interviewing Lunga. Lunga, yeah. So it's like a it's a consistent theme. Yeah, because he was like, what's your favourite food? Poutine. Oh, he did ask him Oh, food. my God, it's the same questions? No. I can't remember. <laughs> it was like a month ago. No, because he was like, Lunga. say something Canadian. 
Sorry. Sorry. But he did ask him his favorite food. Or maybe yeah, he said, he maybe he said, what do you eat there or something? Maybe. Anyway, poutine. I remember that. That was funny. We all know they eat maple syrup rolled up in ice. Yes. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Um, <laughs> yeah. So favorite food? Fish. Which I don't get. Because he's I've, a I've cat. eaten a lot of fish. Oh. Yes, he's a real life cat. He's a real life uh, cat. I've eaten a lot of fish lately and it's always just the bones for me. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I hate him. My, uh, yeah, my dad will often cook us like grilled whiting. Mm. And there's always bones in it at the top. Yeah. And I'm, I don't like it either. Yeah. I'm really scared it's going to get stuck it's in scary. my throat. Yeah. Or like stuck in your gums or something like <sighs> that. Yeah. Um, no, but I, I don't mind fish. I know um, lots of people don't. And that's fine. Yeah. But yeah, I'm it's just fan. the bones for me. Otherwise, I'd eat it. What if there are no like. bones in it? Or are you scared that there's bones in it? No there, bones about it. I like it without bones. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, fish. fish. You love fish. You like fish. Make it quick. I've got a full day. What does Mia have on? <laughs> <laughs> he's in elementary school. He's at a. He's got. He's got training. Skateboard training. Ah. Skateboard training, and obviously journalists want to come and interview him. Yeah. Film him. What's your um, best sketchy thing? sniff wheel? He Cute. does. Um, Just quickly on the visuals. Yes. Again, we're getting like third person. I don't know if you'd call it that. Um, like visuals where we're seeing visuals of something that's being filmed of Mia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Mm. Um, plus there's a lot in the background here. That I guess we'll talk about when we get to it. Yes, there's a ton going on in that shot. The of the video of um, yeah. him, yeah, yeah, and even his skateboarding is so fluid and like <sighs> yeah, really good, really quick. Oh, um, he's so clever. Yeah, he loves maths. Ah, uh, the picture of him like smiling, happy he's with very the skateboard, cute. so cute. Um, he loves role playing games. He do. I wonder if that's like tabletop or video games. I would say video games. Video games. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have friends. Now, I have a lot of friends, but I find it fucking hard to get a table together. <laughs> oh, no, John. That's so sad that he doesn't have friends. Yeah. Um, I, w- I do find I, there was a few. I was playing D&D very, very briefly yeah. with a group, and it was just like... It's hard to prioritize over like you need to commit to yeah, it. Yeah, you have to yeah. really pro- like commit to it, and especially like we had our our group was all only available on like a Saturday afternoon, and I was like, I'm not if something comes up on a Saturday that is like hanging Saturday's out with friends weekend. or something like that's weekends. Yeah. So it's like I'm, I'm I didn't want to always be like I can't do this. I've got D and D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it I is, wasn't committed enough for that. I read a um, like a general advice book for role playing games. Um, your best role playing game ever, I think it's called mm. Monty Cook Games. I love Monty Cook. I'll shout them out whenever I get the chance. Yes. Um, and they said, like, usually the first thing people will drop in their busy, busy lives is D and D or yeah. <laughs> role playing games. Um, which, yeah, you know, you, you only play it really often if you're like either part of the subculture, like you're making games, yeah, um, or if you're, you know, you're getting paid to do it, yeah. Like you, you, you're famous enough that you people watch you and yeah. want to watch you play D and D, or if it's like your core group of friends, like yes, a lot, that too. a lot of people, and it's a yeah. reason to hang out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whereas, like, I was like looking for, I was going to like my like offshoot groups of friends that would, uh, yeah. And then so like if my core group of friends wanted to do something, I'd be like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Sorry, Sorry. I've got D and D. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but that's why I messaged you and I was like, is there, cause what we did one years and years and years ago, which was just years like a day ago. campaign. And that yeah, was Yeah, we just really did like fun. a one shot. Yeah. A one shot. <laughs> yeah. Um, which was fun, which is like much more committable. Um, yes. but I also think, uh, potentially like pandemic stuff may- means that you can do it more remotely now. Yes. Yeah. People are more open to doing it remotely. Yeah. And I probably, I, I did play maybe in like four or five different games over the pandemic. Yeah. Well, I tried to start three different Numenera games. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, again, Monty Cook. And all of them lasted 
like maybe three or four sessions at most. Oh, it's hard. So it's like it's also a commitment thing from me as well because I probably get burnt out on it. Yeah. Eventually, but um, yeah. Just talk to Emily. This is probably the thing I complain about most in life is that I can't get a table together. Oh. <laughs> So I've given up trying to be a DM and I just want to be a player now. But yeah. then recently I've started reading more stuff and I'm getting sweaty about it again. And oh. I'm kind of like, maybe it's time to, you know, you get the itch. It, yeah. it comes and goes in waves. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, Mia's talking about video games, <laughs> not tabletop role-playing games. No. Um, yes. What's a special talent? Flag girl in the background. Yes, I saw Flag Girl. What about yeah. him? Um, do you think he can really talk to cats? I don't think so. <laughs> you sure? Do you? I do. Wow. I'm still not convinced that he's not actually. Well, no, no. A cat Let me boy. rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. I think anyone can talk to cats. <laughs> I don't think cats can necessarily understand you. Because <laughs> I talk to my cat all the time. But Chia understands. Yeah. <laughs> so I can talk to cats too. Um, I am still not fully convinced he's not actually a cat. I've had this discussion many times. Um, Animorph? I just want to know what's the go with his tail. Yeah. Um, now he moved that tail. Now he moved the tail. Uh, but, yeah. I, I'm he like, can talk to cats. I reckon he can talk to cats. So we had a... An extended discussion about this next line already. Oh, yes. But we'll reiterate for the court. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> reiterate for the court. Please. Uh, and please, counsellor, keep it short. <laughs> um, okay. This is the last one. What's your favourite type? That is the subtitle. That is the subtitle in the Japanese. Yes. So I immediately assumed we were on a different topic. Because the okay, this is the last one implies that he's moving on from the last question about talking to cats. Mm-hmm. I thought he was asking, like, what's your favorite type of girl or boy or whatever me is into. Oh. But then he you said- explained. <laughs> well, I just assumed he was still talking about the cats. <laughs> yes. Which is why it's so funny when, he, like, when I thought he was talking about favorite type of, like, um, like lover or whatever. He's, he's a teenager. It's favorite sort of, um, you know, significant other. He's like fluffy ones. I can snuggle. <laughs> and I was like, what the what? <laughs> okay, go off. Oh, I guess. No. Um, but yes, no. Maybe cats. that is meant to be the joke though, because then doesn't Ricky maybe say it is like, the joke. Doesn't Ricky say like? Um, maybe the joke is lost in translation. Maybe because yeah, mm. in the. In the sun. Oh, no. I've done the thing where I explain the joke again, haven't I? No, 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 no. (laughs) We're not a comedy podcast. Because in the dub, he says, um, doesn't he say you have to pick one or something? And then Mia's like, I won't be forced to choose a favorite angel or something. I will not be forced to choose a favorite angel. (laughs) Like, what? (laughs) Okay. Okay. I, I immediately thought Evangelion, which is bad. Like my, uh, I hear Angel and I immediately think of Neon Genesis because the oh. villains in that are angels. Yeah, rather than the biblical angel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, he liked cat. He liked cat. Maybe that's but he won't why he choose likes between cat so or much. dog. Yeah, he has a little snuggle with Sketchy, which we did see a tiny bit of in this preview. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I forgot that. That's the next one. Um, oh, no, Adam's watching a lot of stuff on the televisions. Yeah, this, bit, long, long <laughs> this bit made me go, oh, my God. <laughs> when he stroked, this is, we'll talk about visuals for this because it's fucked. I, it actually made me go like, oh, sh- shit. Adam is stroking his board with two fingers. While watching like screens and screens and screens of longer. He's also kind of caressing the bottom of the board where he's holding it too. It's very gentle. Oh, he really is. Damn, Daddy. <laughs> it's okay. No, I'm going to just say it, but it's it's a very sexual gesture that he's doing. Yeah, it is yeah, very charged. Fingers. Like, yeah, I was very like, whoa, oh my goodness. Maybe yeah, a little the same, comfy. Like, I was it's not the same there. as like Ricky with his two thick fingers on the tip. No, deck. it's very it's different. Like very smooth and 
Ooh. Yeah, very charged. And Tadashi's just standing there as well, yeah. just like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say, but. Uh... <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Oh my god. Mm. Awkward. Oh my god, I didn't notice this. I was too distracted by the actual content. Lunga's like doing a full on fucking flip right at the end. Oh yeah, he's fully in Whoa. the air. <laughs> yeah, the Japanese is much simpler. I'm not going to pick cats or dogs or dogs or cats. Oh wait, okay. Ah, oh, I'm not going to pick dogs yeah. or cats. So I that makes the context. He was fully cat boy. Yeah, right. Yeah, but he just must love fluffy things. Oh, that's really cute. That is kind of cute. I do love a fluffy snuggle. I guess he does say to um, Ricky in the next episode, "You, you'll be my dog," doesn't he? Or just well, you'll I be my remember. pet. I think it's like you'll be my remember. pet, maybe something ah, like that. That would make more sense. Yes. God, who has the pet play? stuff going on who wrote for skate because there's a lot of it yep. underlying a lot of it um i have a minor gripe with this promo oh would you like to guess what it is i don't know what it is <laughs> there's no cherry or joe no you would think that would be the gripe but no it's <laughs> It's There's a no... certain other character that is missing oh. from the promo. Oh, I think I know. <laughs> um, we're Kiriko. We're Kiriko. We're Kiriko. We're Kiriko. Seriously. <laughs> Where the fuck is Kiriko? <laughs> Kiriko, come out. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm peeking. Was she yeah. actually <laughs> even in the show? Like, she has to be. She has to appear. In this episode. Well, I guess we can talk about our hopes and dreams for this episode. Because I think last time we <laughs> randomly did it in, like, the second minute of the episode. Yeah, we episode. might have, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I reckon, yeah. What, what, what are your, if you can vaguely remember, what are your vague remembrances and hopes and dreams for episode three? I vaguely, vaguely remember um, uh, Mia and Adam. Uh, Mia and Adam have a conversation Mm. At the isn't it on like a catwalk? Training, yeah. It's like it's in the yeah. place where he's training for the. He's getting videoed, mm. and I think it might explain some of the reason why they're connected. I can't like I think Adam's funding him or like sponsoring him or I don't know. There's some connection between these two. But I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. Sugar daddy. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe. Oh God! <laughs> sugar, sugar daddy, who's twenty six years old. <laughs> when I think about the guys at my work who are twenty six years old, I'm like, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> or just in general, guys who are twenty six yeah, years no. old. Yeah. Um, and then I have a feeling that we might get Kiriko. I That's think we feelings. do get Kiriko, but I'm surprised that she's not in the promo and I don't want to get ahead of myself and get excited to see her if she's mm. not going to be in the next minute. Well, maybe they were being, maybe they were holding their cards close to their chest because we've seen Kiriko in the OP twice now. We have. And they might be thinking, mm, surely they want to see in a preview this new character that we've been holding on to for already you know, a sixth of the show. Oh, my gosh. But we won't tease them. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep this plot line close to our chest. I mean, we haven't even properly met Tadashi or Adam yet. This is true, actually. We haven't. Yeah, so I think next episode we're going to get a proper introduction to Adam. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but it'll be, yeah, um, Ainosuke, Adam, not... Yes, it'll be Ainosuke, yeah. yeah. And I think... Does he come that in will... at the end of this episode, maybe? I think he does come in at the end of this episode. Episode three? Yeah, Adam, Adam. Oh, right, he drops in. Yeah, I think that might happen yeah, at the maybe. end of this one. And declares what, Lunga, his Eve, or something like that. <sighs> and then it all begins, and then it all kicks off. And, yeah, I um, think so. You know, Twitter, skate Twitter melts down <laughs> for the next eight months. <laughs> Um, oh, the discourse, I'm so Yeah, tired. so I think Ionosuke and Kiriko will be introduced yes. Together. Yes, I think so I as well. I think yeah. they have or, a confrontation in this scene. Yeah, this we'll be introduced to Ionosuke and his superior. Yes, yes. Who the Tantana, is, um, yeah. Takana, he's the I linchpin is, yeah. of the political yeah. subplot, which really Ionosuke is the linchpin of it. Yes. but um, He's the puppet master. 
Yeah. It's so interesting. What else? Um, I mean, obviously, uh, Mia and Lenga will have a beef. Yes. Um, how weird is it? We watched this show. I watched this show like 10 months ago. I can't remember anything about it. <laughs> I and I should it a because I do recently. a podcast about it. Um, I I think there'll be just be a bit more Reki Lunga stuff. Mm-hmm. I think we'll meet Reki's older sister. Oh, I think she'll possibly. show up. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm not sure what else is in this one. Do we get yeah. me a backstory? I think there might be me a backstory. I reckon we might get me a backstory. Yeah. You can't have a good beef without, without a little bit of character yeah. backstory. Agreed. A- apart from Shadow. <laughs> Who never gets backstory. Or Harry. Harry. Love Harry. I can't wait for Harry. <laughs> I'm so excited. What episode is Harry in? Like episode 10? Or nine nah, or seven, seven or eight, I think. Okay, yeah. that early. Wow. Oh, because it goes in, yeah. into the tournament arc. Like, I think it might be Pretty eight. soon after. Yeah. Um, yeah. I remember, yeah, a lot of people saying that, like, we basically got six episodes of fun and then we went straight into misery and tournament arc. Yeah. Six episodes isn't a lot. To set up something, I guess. But no, but they did such a good job of it. They really did. Like, yeah. I was so I th- invested by the time we by got to episode, episode six. Seven. You yeah. know all the characters well enough that you're excited to see them together and, yeah. you know, stuffing around on the beach. And then they're like, and now we're going to break your heart. Yeah, which I hope you're looking forward out there to those episodes in episode six where it's literally just us going like, this is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For minutes on end. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Legitimately is going to be what we do. Yeah. Um, and me pointing out obvious jokes that I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Just like an old man. Yes. Um, that's pretty much it. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of confusion for us in the translations at the end there, yes. but I think we sorted it out. And episode three is called Undesired Hero. Undesired Hero. Which, so who, yeah, who is the Undesired Hero? Who is the Undesired hero? hero? Who is it? Right. That's a good question, actually. It is a good question. Would it? it is it Mia? But he wants oh, to be good. Yeah. So he does. Is he? Is it an undesired hero, like of the people, or is it someone who does not want to be a hero? That's a really good question. Maybe we'll have an I answer. I wish I knew Japanese. We might have an answer by the end of next episode. What does this say? Why is the kanji so squished? I can't fucking read that. <laughs> Yeah, don't I don't understand any of this kanji. Um, what was your favorite moment of this preview? Um, what was my favorite moment? Um, this is gonna sound really weird, but the stuff with Adam, like I know it was like weird, but I was like very affected by it. <laughs> wow! Like favorite moment in like a like the sexual rest- sense. <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> favorite moment in a sense that I was like. Oh my god! Like the rest of it, I was just like, "Oh yeah, promo, promo, promo." It was a surprise. Like, yeah, it was a surprise. I was like, "Oh, mm. that." I think that's what I meant more than like, "Wow, this is saucy." Let's get yeah, some Eden. Yeah, fair in enough. Here. Out of nowhere. I don't. I yeah. ha- don't hate on Eden shippers. Go for your life. I actually don't yeah. mind it in a like grown up sense of the the world, but like sometimes I do understand why people get a bit eked out by it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Same reason we get icked out by like the brother sister yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. I totally get it. Um, but you know, but, uh, everyone do your own thing. Yeah, as go off. You do your own thing as long as you don't curate your own space. Else. As long as you don't hurt anyone else, go for it. Um, I don't even know what my favorite moment would be. Yeah, probably them looking at each other wrecked. That's oh, so funny. It's it gets me every time. I adore it. Yeah. Oh, or um, in the background shot of Mia putting on his helmet, there's just this really fat dude in a green polo shirt, <laughs> and I just kind of loved him. Um, the, the designs of those three like journalists I kind of like. But the fat dude in the polo is great. Oh, my God. Because it's like the person didn't know how to draw fat people because he's got like a skinny face, but then they've just added like an extra Oh, my God. I feel like I need to chin. do this now. <laughs> and they're like, he's just very round, but his legs are like, Svelte. <laughs> I, I just really liked him. He stood out to me. Oh, bless. Big dad vibes on the man. Bless, bless. Um, Twitter? We're done. We're done. Oh, fuck. We We're finished done. the episode. <laughs> we finished fucking episode we finished two. episode three. We're done. This is, this is episode two. We finished episode two. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Pop that in and put that over the top. Um, we're, we're, only gonna, <laughs> we're only gonna start episode three. We're about to start episode three. This is true. Yeah. Episode yeah. Two. Congrats, Jono. Proud of us. Congrats, Caitlin. Um, I. We still don't know what we're gonna do for our holdover episode. No, we don't. We'll figure it. We'll out. figure it out. Yeah, maybe we do might... some more fanfic stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, in the last minute I talked about a skateboarding anime that also aired at the same time as Skate. I think that might be inline skating. What's that? Like rollerblading. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> expressly not skateboarding. Right. Um, but I swear there was another one. So I'll, I'll keep an I'll keep an eye out. I'll, I'll keep looking. Um, see what I can find. Maybe we'll watch the first episode of that. And yeah. Talk about it. Um, I'm still catching up on the Gambler. Yes. Nice, I think nice, we will nice. definitely come back to the Gambler. Um, maybe in between three and four. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Cute. cute. Sweet. Yes. Oh, uh, infinite underscore minute on Twitter. Infinite minute podcast at gmail dot com. And we'll see you next minute. See you for next episode. Next minute. Next no, minute. we can't say that. <laughs> See you for episode three, Undesired Hero. Goodbye. Bye.